Hi, my name is Ilan. I want to show and share with you a project that I have done for my studies. Uh, it might be interesting for others, for others pe people who are developing. Uh, we are talking about self-play, uh, Monte Carlo tree search, and neural network. In total, these three uh, terms are the fundamental for alpha zero general, as you can see up here. So this project name, I've called it Mastering Connect 4 game with alpha zero general. If you would like the, uh, this project, you can download from GitHub. And in here, you can see the code. You can also see the, my studies uh, about how the self-play is succeeding. And I want to go in details how I implement this pro project. So in here is Python, Python on a an IDE called PyCharm. Uh, when I run this pro program, you can see it begins with self-play. And after the self-play uh, and a neural network begins to learn. And when it finished learning the new, uh, a model, then it will play it will play um, 40 games and it will compare the two models. And if the new model is better than the previous, then it will be accepted, as you can see in here. And it will continue to iteration number two. Okay, we can go back to the code later on. I think we can we should begin with the abstract. So in order to measure if we succeed the self-play and, and if we achieve a good model, we need to understand the game Connect4, how it should play and what will be considered as a succeed, a good player. Usually we think a, a, a specialist of a game expert, he will always win. But if both of them are expert, actually in this kind of a game, they, no one will win, they will draw. Because they will pre pre prevent the other uh, player of winning. So I found an article called Infinity Connect 4 is solved will draw. Both player will not win, either lose, but that game will draw. And they have improvement in here. But now we also have a, not only this improvement for, um, by mathematics, but also empirical. We can now add this imperial project to, to tell that actually they are right. The, the game called Connect4 has a lot of positions, as you can see in here, I will not name the number. It's taken from the Wikipedia and, and uh, that's explained that this game actually is a good challenge for machine learning. Now, um, considering the neural network, we also know that we have to see an, an improvement from each learning process for each iteration. And this imp improvement is measured by a validation loss error 
And also for the net, for the neural network, there's a policy loss. If these two uh, loss will uh, go down by the time, then we know that the new models uh, actually was improved, improved by the time. So we have two indication, uh, two way how to measure that this project will succeed. So in here you can see. After, after 60 uh, interaction of games, each self-play has 40 games, then we can see that the game end with roll. Sometimes it doesn't, but in total it's going up for all games to be draw. And if we look in another perspective, who are winning more, then in the beginning, both of them were winning more. But by the time, no one of the player will win. So these two graphs show how uh, the, uh, the theory and in here, in this article, is correct. And now I will tell a little about from where I took the main part of the of the code. It's Alpha Zero General. Alpha Zero General actually has several kind of games implemented. The main, the main uh, uh, game was Otello, and now they also have Tic Tac Tic and other games implemented. Uh, I tried the Connect Four. There are some uh, difficulties. It is not uh, that uh, final or and. Uh, Actually, the way they have done it with the neural network is uh, with Keras and tes ten TensorFlow, and I have done it with uh, PyTalk. Okay, so my problem actually works. Okay, so how does it work? I will try to explain. We saw that the self-play uh, is the first part, and then it uh, used the results to train. Uh, in here, we can see that we have a Monte Carlo tree search as a prediction value, and the training will learn uh, the state of the game and what it will be the projected, predicted value. In such a way, we are able to teach the computer, the algorithm, or neural network, a model, without asking a human to be a player. So it's actually learned by itself the whole game and to be uh, an, 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 uh, a real expert. So the Monte Carlo tree search is used for gaining the reward, reward or the, the value of this, uh, of this, uh, of the game. And now, as I mentioned, Alpha Zero General succeeded to take the Alpha Go Zero or Alpha Go. Um, and do it in, in, in a general way. So, upon the usual way of uh, Monte Carlo tree search that has four stage selection, expansion, 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 simulation, and back propagation, 
in the new project of uh, general, we do not see this four step. They do it in another way. Um, they, they did a write up uh, paper and they wrote the algorithm in a very abstract way uh, of uh, pseudocode. Actually, I found that the real article with more details is in here. It's called Hyperbomia Sweep on Alpha Zero General. It's, it's uh, the, the algorithm of the, the game done in, in, on uh, GitHub. Uh, as you can see in here. So I think it will be too much for this video to go through the code actually. Uh, but leave it as that. Uh, so these are the parameters that we can set in the main. Uh, uh, Iteration episode, temp threshold, and so on. Go in GitHub and look at the main .py fi file, the Python Python file. Okay, as I mentioned, Otello is the uh, the main game that was uh, implemented for Alpha Zero General, and they actually ask other developers to implement other games. So I did so. Uh, actually, I took a big part of what was all, already done and added another neural network for it. And I added also many log uh, that so I can uh, analyze the, the, the whole system of uh, alpha zero general. Uh, without this log, it was not possible to do the diagrams that I showed in GitHub and also I will show you now for the neural network. Uh, yeah, you see. Yeah, we'll just, okay, we'll go, no, we'll not go back, so that will be too much time. Okay. Uh, just to tell that the outcome of this project is as expected. We already talked about it draws, and it draws after about 60 uh, iterations. The last one we have to mention in here is the training process. Uh, so the policy uh, loss error and the validation error is going down by the time. As you see, in the beginning of the first, second train, epoch number two, one, uh, the percent is very low, uh, about two or three, and it's going down. So, if, and if I look at the, the total of train process one, of, uh, after every, uh, the, all the epochs, then we can see it's going down. And here we see train process three. And if you compare between them, you can see it's going down. Here it's uh, improved itself by t 10 times because here you can see it's, it, it, it's, my, it's uh, not 2.5%, but 0.25%. So it's, re it's it's learning, and it's my, my, uh, minimize the um, the loss uh, error. Here you can see at the end number the train uh, number one hundred and epoch ten. Actually, it's going down to zero point one five, and I can't see any issue of uh, continuing because it's stopping uh, going down and actually when it's begin to go up it might be overfeeding so i think this is the optimal 
a model we have gone after 100 iterations. Uh, here you can see it, it has a good improvement. That's all I want to show you. If you would like to improve what I have done, you can take the project. Be welcome. That's all for now. Thank you.